motherfucker. Fuck you, Colossus. That was fucking crazy. It was like a fucking machine gun, man. Just yo yo. Welcome to another CCG video. In this one, uh, we are gonna try to one shot the boss, uh, the Colossus boss. Uh, what that means is we are gonna take him from pretty much full health down to zero with one hit. That's the plan. All right, let's go. Let's try this out. Here we go. Moment of truth. We need to land everything first of all. But the way this is going to work, all right, I guess we just tap him because uh, I don't have the petrify up anyway. All right, I need the shaman to land this curse. He's got to land the curse. There we go. We got the curse. Now this is the hard part. I need this guy to defense break. Oh, we got the defense break. All right. Oh, we got a proc as well. All right. I guess we tap him again. Now we're going to buff attack. And this is it. <laughs> this is it. We got everything we we want and need. Um, so let's see if we can do it. Boom. Oh, my God. So close. So close. We did proc and then boom. All right, so looks like my runes are just not good enough yet. So we're going to bring in Cupid. All right, so we're actually not going to bring in Cupid yet. We're going to be using the the Archmage's leader skill, which uh, I think that's going to be enough. All right, so let's auto and get there first, and then we'll be right back once we're at the boss. All right, uh, we're at the boss. Uh, now, the problem is we don't have the hit lead anymore, so we this might take me a few tries to get everything to land. Uh, basically, just the curse and the defense break. All right, we got the curse. Oh, and we got the proc. That means we got two chances now between the shaman and the swordsman to land this defense break. Let's see. Oh, we got the defense break. All right. All right, let's come on. One. Oh my god, so close. So, so close. And then, boom, you tap him again and he's dead. So you saw how how little, little, little damage uh, we needed. All right, so I think I got it, basically. I, I mean, you can see I got it, right? Uh, but for video purposes, I have to do it. So now I got to add the Cupid. Okay, so Cupid did not land the mark. Uh, I went with the passive so I could have two chances of landing it. Uh, hopefully, we can land it here. All right, cool. We got it. We got it. Now, the next two hard things, landing the curse and the defense break. We got the curse. Can't we get this defense break? Defense? <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so we... The passive on the on the Cupid, he he landed the the hatred mark already. Now we just need the curse and the defense break. That's it. That's it, right? Easy enough. All right, here we go. All right, land this curse, shaman. Land this curse. No. Again. All right, guys. It wasn't easy. Man. It, it was a bitch getting here with this team, but. So I added the Mountain King. Um, he's only five star uh, to get that hit rate, and and he's got a a ninety percent chance, 90, 90, 90 zero to defense break with his skill too. So I think he's gonna help us. I don't think we need the the attack leader skill from the mage because now we've got the the hatred mark right, and now we got that hit because I didn't want to spend hours and hours waiting till I could land everything. Like I said, my ruins are just not amazing anyway. All right, so we need to land this first. Oh, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, you fuck. Well, let's see how reliable this defense break is. <laughs> Man. Okay, so I changed it up. I was just not landing shit in. I don't want to spend hours and hours just to get the setup uh, and land everything. So I decided to just... Uh, beef beef him up a little bit or a lot of it. I was running speed slot too in the beginning. Uh, I was able to craft and I got really lucky. I got this this uh, this five star legendary rune uh, attack slot too. Uh, so 
yeah, this this should be enough. Um, this definitely should be enough. So well, while we're here, I'll just show you guys the runes. So I've got him on attack, uh, crit damage, and attack. Uh, the only reason he's on counter is because of these two runes here. That's 25% crit rate, so that allows me to, to get him on crit damage. And then uh, this is his slot 3. Again, uh, just crit rate. Uh, I'm sorry, slot 5. Uh, this slot 3 is basically just some attack. Uh, this can definitely be improved. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's take, uh, let me give you an idea of his overall stats uh, that we're running with. So we got plus 2762 attack. Uh, we are one short on the on the crit rate and then we've got plus 87 crit damage um and actually and actually since we're here if you can see we've got uh the 19 percent crit on there uh so i i originally got two max rolls so it was 18 but if you guys didn't know you can actually grind crit rate here um they call it using a quartz and uh, this is where you go. You you go to the second enhance tab, and then obviously here I don't have any more of those, but uh, I I got a very low quality one. It was either one or two percent, and we only got the one percent. But if we would have got the two, he'd be at exactly a hundred percent crit, which would be amazing. But uh, it's it's okay. The place that you get them at is in the spire, and um, I'm not too familiar on how how many they're gonna be dropping or or anything. I mean, I got lucky and got a berserk one, I guess. So, but that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool that you can uh, you can up your crit rate. All right, let's go watch him annihilate this Colossus. Okay, guys, so I decided to switch it up. <laughs> Apparently, hit is like stupid important here. Uh, the boss just has high resistance. Now, because of the Medusa lead, and uh, I do have the Shaman on hit percentage, he has 100%. That's why he's landing everything. But we're at the boss. We have the defense break. We have the curse, and we're set. <laughs> the shaman proc. Uh, he actually proc again after his initial proc. So let's see how this went. So I'm gonna just tap uh, the right tower because I want the boss to have uh, as much health as possible. And here we go. We're gonna put up the buff. Uh, she is gonna proc again, and then let's see. We're gonna times ones it, and then. The moment of truth. Let's see what the uh, mage does. And boom, motherfucker. Fuck you, Colossus. That was fucking crazy. It was like a fucking machine gun, man. Just. Oh, man. It was fucking crazy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I, I knew it, you know, it was just, I, I was right there. I just needed, you know, pretty much like I said, to upgrade my runes or, uh, I mean, skill ups would have done it, you know, maybe the, the leader skill, but I just didn't want to take, uh, hours and hours trying to get that set up because, you know, they couldn't land shit. That's fucking crazy. All right. Before we end, we're going to go one shot Leviathan as well. Why not? Right. All right, we're at the boss. Let's see if we can one-shot this guy too. Let's. All right, we landed the curse. We did not get the proc though. Okay, so we need to land this defense break. Oh, we missed it. Oh, we got a proc. We got a proc. Come on, land it. Ah, he missed. <laughs> he missed, but we got another proc. All right, third time is the charm. Come on, swordsman. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> it's okay. All right. We're going to tap the tower until we can get uh, that defense break on him. All right, we got the defense break. All right, we're good now. Let's tap the tower. And yeah, he's he's basically got about the same amount of health uh, depleted as, as the Colossus did. So, so this is, this is going to be a good test. That would have sucked if he would have killed anyone there. <laughs> All right, here we go, though. Let's go. Let's do this. She procs every time after buffing. Okay, here we go. Let's times one's it. And uh, let's wreck this motherfucker. Boom. Boom. That's it. Oh, man, that's so nice. That's so nice. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys uh, have this team, man, it's, it's pretty good, actually. Uh, it, it can definitely auto as well. 
Um, I have a different team that I'll be showcasing. Like I said, it's very, very similar to this, but that well, uh, the team that I use, uh, you can see there, it is 47 seconds. So make sure uh, you guys uh, check that one out coming up in the next few days. All right. So yeah, guys, the bosses can be one shot. The Arc Mage is a fucking beast. If you didn't know, <laughs> now you know. You know.